So before I start playing tonight, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who's watching live. Uh, this is certainly an unusual experience for me uh, to play in an empty hall. Um, but I'm glad to know that some people are out there watching, and um, I'm really excited to play. Um, I'm going to play a few different pieces tonight, starting with the E major partita by Bach. Um, it's a set of seven movements, um, all of which are dances, except for the first one called the Preludio. Um, so please enjoy.
Okay, so we're back. Thank you very much uh, so far for everybody who's been watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the Bach. Um, the next two pieces I'm going to play are by a Belgian composer, uh, a man named Eugène Ezai, and he um, was a great violinist uh, as well as a composer, and he loved the music of Bach. So I, I always think it's great to play Bach uh, when you play Ezai um, so you can see his influences. Um, he wrote six sonatas for solo violin um, inspired by Bach's six sonatas and partitas. Uh, I just played the sixth one. Um, so the first sonata I'm going to play by Izai is number four. It's in three movements. Uh, something to, to watch out for or, or to listen for um, uh, while you're watching is starting in the second movement in particular, you start to hear a uh, what he calls a canto or a chant. And throughout that movement, you're going to hear this dum, bum, bum, bum. It's a very simple little theme. You're going to hear it at the beginning. It actually runs throughout the movement without stop. So something to listen for. Um, so without further ado, please enjoy the fourth sonata by Eugene Isai. Thank you. 
So the second to last piece I'm performing tonight is another sonata by Eugenie Zai. Um, you just heard the fourth sonata, so I'm playing them sort of backwards, and this is going to be the third sonata. It's probably his most famous of the solo sonatas. It has um, also a title. It's called Ballade. Um, it's a brilliant piece. It's all in one movement, um, but it starts with a sort of slow, um, somewhat murky um, recitativo start um, before, after a few minutes, then the real theme comes in. Um, so please enjoy.
Hi there. So thank you everybody who's been watching so far. Just one last piece, something of an encore really for the evening. Um, and this piece is by a lesser known, unfortunately, a composer named Florence B. Price. Uh, Florence B. Price was born in 1887 in Little Rock, Arkansas. Um, and she lived until 1953 where she passed away in Chicago. Um, she's recognized as the first African-American woman to be um, uh, known for, for her symphonic work and for writing um, in the classical style, um, big works like that. And unfortunately for me, she did not write any solo violin music, but I really wanted to incorporate her into, tonight, into tonight's program. Um, she wrote uh, symphonies, concerti, chamber works, uh, vocal works, uh, solo piano works. She was a pianist herself, um, all of which you should check out. Um, they have been underplayed and underrecorded, um, and I'm hoping to incorporate more of her work into my recitals as I go forward. Um, but this is a piece um, that she wrote for organ. It's called Adoration. Um, and it's a beautiful piece, uh, and there's a violin arrangement that I've added some notes to myself. Um, so I thought I'd play that as a last uh, sort of lullaby um, before I say goodbye for tonight.